Kitchen. Today, I'm going to be attempting to cook a street food that is crispy, fluffy, savory, juicy, peppery, and meaty, all at the same time, the pepper bun. This is one of the best things I've ever eaten, and my favorite one is from the famous stall at the Rauha Night Market. Pepper buns, aka hu jiao bing, are typically made in a barrel-shaped oven to give it a crispy outside, but soft and fluffy inside. It's filled with a generous amount of pork and green onions and has easily become one of the most loved street foods in Taiwan. As we know, it's not advised to travel right now. So that means I can't travel there to get my fix. So I'm basically gonna try to bring Taiwan to me. Let's get this pepper party poppin'. Okay, so today we are making the dun -dun -dun pepper bun. I'm really excited because my last week's video where I made the Taiwanese fried chicken, that really got me craving Taiwanese street food like even more than usual. So that inspired me to want to try to make another famous Taiwanese street food. And this is not something you can really find anywhere else. Like I don't know any restaurants near me that sell it. So I haven't had this since my last trip to Taiwan and I'm craving it so bad. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, we need to prepare the pork mixture. And so I have about half a pound of ground pork right here. And we're gonna add a bunch of seasonings and spices to it to give it that nice peppery flavor that we all know and love in the pepper bun. So we're gonna add one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of ground black pepper, which took me forever to grind or ground. Wait, huh? Anyway, seriously, it was an arm workout. One tablespoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of white pepper, one fourth teaspoon of five spice, two tablespoons of rice wine, and one tablespoon of sesame oil. So now that we finished putting all the seasonings and spices in the pork, now we need to put on our glove. No, it didn't snap. Put on our glove and we're gonna mix the pork filling by hand until it has a nice paste texture. This way we can make sure that we get all the seasonings evenly distributed in the pork and make it a nice and smooth texture. <sighs> Arm break. Oh my gosh, it's smelling really good. And now the mixture is looking really paste-like, I think. So looks like it's time to move on to the next step. So now we move on to the bun. And what's really cool is that this recipe I found actually uses already made pizza dough from Trader Joe's, specifically this one. So I thought that was a really cool hack and it definitely made me feel like more safe when I was looking at the recipe because it seems easier because the dough is already taken care of. I thought that was genius. So yeah, let's just open this up and get to rolling our dough. I wish I was rolling in dough. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of flour first on the table. I don't know, is this how they do it? I've never done this before. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh. Is this how you're supposed to take it out? It's so sticky, look at that. Ooh. Okay, now it's stuck to my hand, so that's not good. This is a hot mess. Oh my gosh, there's so much dough on my hands. I need to go wash my hands, hold on. All right, so now I am rolling out the dough, except I don't have a rolling pin. So I'm just using my hands. I don't know if that's the best idea, but it's all we got. And then I'm supposed to cut them into 12 even pieces of dough. So let's see if I can do that with my very unevenly rolled <laughs> pizza dough. I can already tell some of these are way bigger than others, <laughs> but hopefully we can fix it so that they're even. I tried my best to redistribute the dough to make them even balls. All right, I think they are close enough. So now that my balls of dough are looking a little more even, I'm gonna take each one and basically we're gonna kind of press it so that it is like a flat round circle that's about five inches wide. Is this about five inches? I don't think so. Basically, we're gonna keep repeating this for all of the pieces of dough. All right, so we have all 12 of our balls rolled into a circle, not really a circle, whatever shape I happen to make. And now we're gonna take that pork mixture that we made earlier and we're gonna fill it in the dough and also a lot, a lot 
of green onions, which I chopped earlier and insert picture of me crying from the green onions. That was painful. But anyway, when you see them make it at the night market, they literally like smash the whole bun in the green onions and get as many green onions as they can and somehow manage to seal it up perfectly every time, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do, but it's always very fun to watch them do it. So let's get started wrapping our buns. So yikes, I forgot to check the camera before I started wrapping so you can barely even see what I'm doing but basically I put about two tablespoons of pork and a good amount of green onion and then folded up opposite sides to meet at the top then folded up the other two sides to make kind of like a square shape and just folded the rest in from there. This is not going very well. <laughs> There's like holes in my dough. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all those holes. Um, first try, not perfect for sure, but I'm just gonna go with it and hopefully we get better as time goes on. Since the last one didn't go so well, I added less pork and green onion to try to make it easier to wrap. Look at the first one compared to the second one. <laughs> this one's so much bigger and it has all those holes with the pork. And this one is nice and small and all sealed up. For the rest of them, I actually just laid the dough flat on the table, scooped on the filling, and wrapped it using the table as support, which I found much easier than wrapping it in my hands. Alright, so we just finished wrapping up our bows, and it actually turned out that I probably stuffed some of them with too much pork. So I have some leftover dough, and I only ended up making 11 buns. So I'm gonna just take some of this dough and like try to cover up the holes that some of the buns have to hope that I can fix up all the mistakes I made, which obviously will make the buns look more uneven, but we're just trying our best over here. So next we need to brush some egg wash on the smooth side of the bun and dip them in sesame seeds as garnish for the top. Oh my gosh, it took a long time for us to get here, but we have finally finished uh, wrapping and egg washing and sesame seeding our buns. And now we're gonna go put it in the oven. So here we have our pepper buns. Look how gorgeous they look. It actually looks like they were really, really juicy, but I didn't do a good job sealing up all the holes and like the dough basically just fell apart on some of them. So you can actually see that like the juices leaked out, which is sad, but at least it tells me that it was very juicy. So if I try this again, hopefully my dough skills will improve and then I can get like the completely right result. So before tasting them, let's cut one of these babies open and see what they look like inside. Oh my God, they look so good. Missing out on the juice, but otherwise they look super delicious. Also, they're really hot. My hands were low-key burning in this shot, so be careful. All right, I think they've cooled down enough, so let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. It's super peppery and flavorful. Oh my gosh, it definitely has a reminiscent flavor to the one at the night market. Oh my god. It's so good. Like I definitely think that if I get the dough wrapping right next time, this would be so freaking good. The pizza dough definitely isn't exactly like the bun texture at the night market but it does a job, like it's worth it because it's so easy. And to get it like the actual night market one, I'm sure is a lot harder. So this is a really easy hack that gets the job done and is definitely still pretty good. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you're missing those pepper buns from the Taiwan night market, I highly recommend you actually try this recipe because I think it's easy enough and it's definitely like close enough to the real thing where it would satisfy your cravings and hold you over until your next trip to Taiwan. I could eat all of these by myself, but I know that when me and my mom went to Taiwan two years ago, the pepper bun was her favorite thing that we ate during the whole trip. So I definitely have to go bring some to her. Mom, I made some pepper buns. Wow, that's my favorite street food from Taiwan. It was so delicious. Wow. Okay, let's 
See if it's mom approved. Okay. Wow, looks so good. Can't wait to eat it. Mmm. Very juicy and flavorful. Wow, I'm impressed. This is good. I can't believe you made this. Wow. Definitely mom approved. Yay! <laughs> All right, so it looks like our pepper bun making was a success, which I really did not expect to be able to make this at home because when you watch them make it at the night market, it looks super complicated, but it actually was a pretty easy, doable recipe. At least this one was. And it was mom approved, so that's important. It was so good. <laughs> But yeah, you guys seem to really be liking these videos, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!